Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, I'm out here trapping again, and uh, I'm on the place where coyotes are definitely here. I mean, there is sign from this road all the way as far as I can see. Uh, I've got already five traps in the ground, but I want to show you a couple things. I wasn't even going to do a video today, but the more I thought about it, the more... I've only seen a couple people do this, and I actually got the idea. I'm not even sure the guy's name. Um, it's called power bedding uh, with males. So I want to show you guys... Um, that plus I also want to show you a uh, trapping cap. Stick around guys. Okay, first, before I uh, show you that, I want to tell you something. So this spot right here where I'm at, um, as you can see, the road goes on down through there. Now, there is uh, a trap right over there with my pipe dream set. Now, of course, I should have recorded that one because that one was pretty good. There is scat literally everywhere over there, and there is uh, four piles here. So I know that they're running these ridges. They're coming uh, right up these ridges right here. Uh, right in this thick. There's another ridge over there right from a pipe dream set and then right where I'm getting ready to go There's another one. So uh, I, I don't see a lot of people saying the reason why they put Traps down. So that's kind of what I'm trying to tell y'all why I do what I do um, Current temperature is like 21. It feels like it and the wind is blowing. I've got my wind muff and everything on So I'm hoping that everything is very good and uh, you can hear me clear So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my trap. Uh, I don't know if you can see but right here there's a trail that comes up and it goes right on down through there. Snakes right on down through there. And then it comes up and goes right over there. Now, to me, uh, at least, like I said, it's on my second year trapping. So if I say something that doesn't make any sense, then you can correct me and I'll be all right with that. So I always try to figure out where um, the deer are going to go. I mean, the uh, coyotes are going to come up, you know, because they're going to follow the deer most time. At least the trails, because, you know, they're going to make the trails and they're going to follow them. At least at, from my own experience, that's what I've seen. So I know that they're gonna come up right through here and go right up there. And there's scat here to prove it. And over there, there's a trail that comes into a Y. I mean, to me, that's just a perfect spot. So let me go ahead and show you these power bedding real quick. Shut my mouth and we'll get to this video, guys. So first thing I wanna do is, is tell you that uh, these are 20D nails. Um, you see they're pretty good size. So here's my hand and that's how big the nail is, all right? Um, it's supposed to have some, some serious snow coming in the next two days, so I'm gonna put some of this ice melted down. Now, I was very leery, very, very, very leery about putting uh, this in the ground because I figured deer would come and, you know, mess with it and everything, or just coyotes wouldn't come and um, they would just say, you know, you know, I smell human. That coyote that you saw me catch the other day, I caught with this and this salt right here. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna show you how I power bait. I'm also gonna show you the trapping cap. So you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Here's the trapping cap. This is for MB550 and that's what I'm gonna put in the ground right here. So, okay, so with using the trapping cap, you don't even have to use any, any pillow stuffing or anything under your trap, under your pan, but I have it, but I'm not gonna use it just so I Okay, so I mentioned in a video before that I was gonna show you my new driver. This is just a piece of rebar, and all I did was, it's half inch rebar by the way, all I did was take a grinder, a bench grinder, and grind it down to fit in my earth anchors. Now this will fit in my earth anchors, and uh, you just drive it right in the ground, and it's so much cheaper. You can buy a whole stick of this. I'm not even sure how much it was because I have this just laying around, so I'm not sure how much a stick of this costs, but I mean, this is way cheaper than you can buy, um, you know, one of them drivers that they make special for these anchors, so, and you have a whole stick of it. All right, got my hole dug. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my earth anchor in. And... Okay, so now my hole is ready. It's good size, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start bedding it. Now I'm gonna bring the camera back down here. Obviously I had to put it up here. I have no tripod. I just got a little short one in. Uh, 
so it's not very good right here because I like I said I wasn't even recording this video I wasn't thinking I was gonna do it anyway and all of a sudden I decided well why not show somebody this all right so let me show you real quick all I'm doing is taking a little bit of driveway melter I'm gonna put it in here I'll bring you back down here and show you exactly how much I put in all right so you can see it's not very much this is just to keep the ground um, from freezing my uh, trap to it so uh, that little bit once it gets a little moist in there it'll kind of melt and you won't have a bit of problem with it all right and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some molt or some uh, peat moss and put it right here in my trap like that all right sprinkle a little salt down just be liberal with it you ain't got to worry about it I mean it's not like the end of the world if you put a little too much down <sighs> all right so this is actually bedded very well it's not it's not even rocking at all i mean it's pretty tight but i'm going to go ahead and show you anyway the way i'm a power power bed this so you when the trap is in there like this you want to take this nail and you want to put it so it catches right here on this okay where the jaws come together on this i'm sure there's a name for it and somebody's gonna call me out and that's fine because i'd rather know but it's where the jaws come together <laughs> all right you just drive them in an angle on both sides I'll show you here in a second. Okay, the reason why I'm wearing my gloves is because I've been, like I said, I've got about five traps in the ground and they have to smell like, um, like a damn stinky old coyote. Okay. Now, it ain't going anywhere. I mean, it is tight. All right, that's all you gotta do. Trapping cap right on it. like so now I take you see how mine's rusted I'll fix it later obviously but right now I just put a little bit more salt down on there go ahead and start putting a little peat moss down all right put a little more salt down believe me the salt somebody's gonna say I'm sure oh that's terrible that's terrible I'm gonna tell you right now there's a guy who does this and he has caught over 50 coyotes this season already, and he does this every single time. He's from West Virginia. I've already mentioned his name several hundred times, it seems like. Um, he does not have a YouTube channel, but we are all talking him into because he is the coyote master. At least I think he is. He's pretty He's pretty awesome. All right. Put more salt down. It's so windy like this guys it's it's just almost impossible to use your sifter at least for me it is i hate that because i like sifting it out but i won't have any problem with it all right and the good thing with this cap is you can really push down and you're not gonna set your trap off there is absolutely no rocking with this trap whatsoever guys so try to keep that sun out of our eyes <laughs> so uh there is absolutely no um, trees or anything around here. So what I did last time, and worked really awesome, guys. Um, I just took a stick like this, which kind of looks like an old tree, and I buried it in the ground. I'm gonna make a scent post here. And I'm also gonna put some, uh, probably some bilayer sand on the very top of this thing. And that's what brought that coyote in last time. So watch, all I did was take my, um, take my little hammer and my driver, and I dug a hole right there. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put that in just like I did right there. I'm gonna put some scent around it, and that's it. Because when they come out of this trail, guys, um, they should be caught, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. All right, so the trap that I showed you, how to put the nails through, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, just kind of dummy it and show you that the nails will not get caught. Because I don't know that any video has ever shown that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it so you'll know for sure that you won't get it won't get caught up in your trap. All right, guys. So I'm back at my house now. Uh, when I was in the woods, my uh, my battery went dead. So I had to come home and uh, put another battery in real quick to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. These are the nails that I'm talking about. These are the 20s. Okay. Ain't nothing, they're just four inch uh, 20s, 20 Ds. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the ground and I'm gonna show you how I trip it and the nails don't even affect it. So here we go. 
Okay, so if you remember right, all I told you to do was to, see I got my trap here, we're gonna put them in an angle and then I'm gonna go ahead and trip it. And I'm gonna show you, okay? So I'm not gonna dig it in the ground, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it in. All right, so when it's tapped in the ground, the animal comes along here, doop, 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 doop. bam. The nails stay in the ground. Well, that one came out because I pulled it, but usually stay in the ground, and uh, that's it. It's all there's to it. Another little thing I want to tell you is um, this is the trap that I was showing you actually in the woods how to um, put the nails down with. Well, I didn't realize it, but my weld broke, I guess, when I pulled it out of the woods last time. So, glad I didn't use it. But I always look anyway, make sure all my swivels are good and make sure everything's good and tight. Now, one more thing about that salt. When you put on your traps, it's gonna rust them, as you see, okay? Um, you know, I spray painted them, and I'll do the same thing again, because it's very corrosive, you know salt is. So, you're just gonna either have to not use it, or whatever. This will be the last year I use salt, because I will be making wax dirt for next year, so, you know, it is what it is. You know, this year is it's what I'm using. It's what I got, it's what I'm using, so don't be scared to use it. Don't worry about that salt thinking that maybe, you know, it's going to attract a bunch of deer or it's going to be like, you know, uh, not work because, you know, it's been tried true and true again and, and, you know, I've done it and it works. Okay, and another thing is just because I put these nails in the ground doesn't mean I use them all the time. That's just another tool for your toolbox, you know, uh, if you can't get it better right. You know, sometimes you get in the, in the ground and you can't bet them. Trust me, I've been there and uh, it's just easier to put nails in and be done with it. I'm not gonna get caught up in your trap. Um, the only bad thing that could possibly happen is they, you know, if the animal takes off with your trap, not like literally takes off, but takes out of the, out of the hole, which they will, you know, your nails could go who knows where, and you might have to take a metal detector or whatever, just to go ahead and, you know, fix them right. Anyway, guys, like I said, just don't be scared to try anything, okay? Because when, like, when I first tried, like I said, people told me, well, you know, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Well, that right there told me that I wanted to try that even more. So, you know, you're not out of nothing. Just give it a try, guys. All right, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.